All right, what's up guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan battle video. And today we are going to be showcasing the brand new STR LR Super Vegito or Goku and Vegeta that fuse into Super Vegito at pretty much their most optimal state, right? 100% in the hidden potential system, full level 10 max link levels, and also the best skill orbs you can get. Level 5 crit, level 5 additional, and level 2 additional for the bronze for a crazy level 13 additional and level 25 crit that's a 50 percent chance to crit on top of the medium chance he gets once he fuses into super vegito so uh this should be a lot of fun i'm expecting some pretty crazy things from this guy and uh without further ado let's jump in so on this first rotation we got him linked up with the agl super vegito we're gonna let him super first for that extra attack boost and this should give us a nice 20 not 24 key but at least 18 key Oh, 23 key. Okay, so pretty close. And the TN is giving us an extra 30% attack. And I believe 50% uh, defense too. Let me check. Uh, yeah, Majin Buu Saga category. Super class allies. Attack plus 30%. Defense plus 50%. Okay, sick. So uh, as far as defense, they're starting off with 151,000 defense. That's really good. It's not the highest I've seen on the first turn, but it's definitely enough for like most events. And uh, considering we got type advantage here, doesn't really matter. Actually, he's not even attacking us, so it's fine. Okay, so AGL Super Vegito took a pretty, pretty big hit there. Not a big deal though. All right, that's totally fine. And for the new LR Vegito, first attack 4.6 million, and we're probably gonna crit here, at least 50%. Oh no, crit. Okay, 3.7. That's a decent start, man. That's a pretty decent start. Now, of course, as you guys probably know, um, when they're untransformed, just as Goku and Vegeta, they're good, but they're not nearly as good as they could be, right? Like, at this point, you've seen really nothing yet. Once they transform into Vegito, that's really when the fun begins. My only issue with this card, honestly, is that the... Tra okay, I, I don't want to say the transformation condition is bad, because it's not, right? It's actually a pretty good condition especially compared to last year's LRs where the AGL LR Gohan and the Int LR Cell are almost impossible to transform. I mean okay Cell is actually a little bit better because at least Cell you know you can just be below 30% HP and you'll get it but for Gohan man you gotta meet some conditions with like the allies and all that stuff and like basically you're, you're never seeing it unless you purposely build the team to allow Gohan to transform. So for this guy and the Buhan that came with him it's not nearly as bad. I, I want to be clear about that. It's not nearly as bad. But for this guy specifically, man, I just feel like, I just feel like if they made it, you know, like 77% HP or higher, it would have been much, much easier. And the thing is, like when you're running a team with him, the teams are usually going to be pretty tanky. So it's kind of hard to fall below a certain amount of HP, at least for the easier events. Obviously for Legendary Goku event, it's going to be not too bad. You know, later on when we take supers, we will fall below the required HP to transform and I believe it's after four turns so you can see here yeah, it can't be activated when HP is 77% or less starting from the fourth turn from the start of battle so we'll be able to get it it's just I wish it was 77% or higher because as I said it would have been a lot easier to actually you know get that going but anyways uh, let's let Vegito super first I mean they're all Vegitos but let's let that Vegito super first and uh, I think this is actually going to be more key. That should be a 24 key super. Oh, 23. Damn it. Okay, my bad. And without the support, we're looking at 129,000, which is still good. Which is still good. And considering that they actually raise defense um, on their super, their defense after the super will be higher. So if you're, they're taking a hit, which in this case they will be, um, they should still be quite tanky. So I'm not really worried about them defensively either. Right now, I'm worried about this guy. This is going to hurt. Oh, damn. Okay. Uh, the good thing is that next turn, we'll be able to pop that active skill for the other Vegito and get that transformation, get that fusion. So that's kind of exciting. But damn, that, that, was, that was tough. Okay, so once again, 4.6. It looks like we're going to be hovering around that number for the Goku and Vegeta, which is really not bad. There's the additional. So they have a medium chance. To perform an additional super attack so there's that medium chance coming to actually i don't know it could be from the passive it could also be from the hidden potential system so it's either or but they do have a medium chance to perform an additional uh super attack 
Okay, so here we go. It's a it's a additional super attack, right? Not just additional attack. Let me see. Uh, yeah, medium chance of launching an additional super attack. There you go. I was right. All right, so now it's time for us to launch this uh, active skill. I'm gonna turn off my music real quick, just for a second, so we can actually hear the beautiful voice lines. Let's just turn this up a bit. Hopefully, it's not too loud for you guys. There we go. Hold up. Can you guys hear it? I'm not sure if it's coming through. It might not be. Oh, that's weird. Why isn't it? Why isn't it coming through? That's weird. Uh, okay. Let's just pop it and see what happens. Boom. Where's the audio? Maybe if I, if I, if I do this, if I, maybe if I do this. That's really weird, guys. I don't know why there's no audio coming through, but uh, we tried. We tried. Can, well, hold on, hold on. Let, let me put on, put on my headphones. Yeah, I don't hear it. What? What is going on? Okay, I apologize. Obviously, that's a big part of the active skills, so that's messed up. But um, I guess I'm having some technical difficulties at the moment. So let's just turn these back down, just in case. I'm gonna turn on the music again. That was a little bit anticlimactic, but hopefully you guys would have seen the active skills, the animations with the voice lines uh, somewhere else. Okay, so now that we got the transformation, let's um, yeah put this guy in front of some attacks for those counters. So if you guys if you guys don't know their or his uh, active skill or not active skill, his uh, passive after transfer transformation or after fusing, you recover 50% HP. You also get attack and defense plus 150% with a medium chance to perform a critical attack. So that's about 25%. And you counter with tremendous power upon receiving normal attacks. And you also get an additional key plus one per key sphere obtained. And key plus five and foresee enemy super attacks for 10 turns from first appearance. So as you can see, as you can see, um, I don't think there's any super attacks because super attack would have a, like a red circle, I believe around around the actual character frame. So I don't think there's any super attacks this turn, unless unless there's something weird going on. But I don't think there's any supers on this turn. And let's see what kind of damage we can do with the double support, actually. Double support here. There's the counter animation. Looks so sweet, man. That, that, is, that is really sick. That is really dope. We're taking 48 damage. That's gonna be a crit. 1.6 mil. 1.6 mil on the counter. Okay. Super attack 4.7. All right. And yeah, so it wasn't as impressive as, as far as damage goes because obviously we have the type disadvantage. But um, there's the additional super. And there's the Fizz. Yo, there's the Fizz Tien. So obviously I'm not like trying to showcase the Tien specifically, right? That's not really the goal of this showcase. But the Fizz Tien is actually quite insane, guys. Okay, if you did not know, if you did not know, this Fizz Tien, um, as, long, as well as the, uh, the Boo Piccolo Absorbed on the other banner, is like ridiculous, man. Like he's, I think both of them honestly are, are good enough to be, okay, maybe not by today's standards, but like let's say like a year ago, or something like that, they were, they're were they pretty much good enough to be like new Dokkan FS units. Like at this point, the side units they're releasing are, are, are as good as like Dokkan FS units from like a year ago. It's, it's just crazy. It's just crazy. So if you guys pulled those guys and you didn't pull the main units, the Vegito and the Buhan, obviously it kind of sucks. Right? Obviously you would prefer to uh, pull the Buhan or the Vegito, but don't be that upset because you're still getting insane units, amazing units on your hands, right? Like this, this, okay, let me just show you his passive. So he's getting key plus three attack and defense plus 150% plus an additional 70% attack when performing a super. And then Majin Buu Saga category, super class allies, attack plus 30% and defense plus 50% and high chance of stunning the attacked enemy. Like he's, he's a ridiculous unit, man. He's a ridiculous unit. Okay, so hold up. Oh, oh, they changed, I forgot. So it's not... The circle anymore it just says super attack launch so we're gonna get we're gonna get supered but uh he's he's got 160,000 defense so we shouldn't take too much damage obviously ideally you would want to put like the int vegeto in front of these attacks just so you know you can tank them better but uh, i want to see those counters obviously so i'm gonna just leave him there i think it's gonna be okay let's see it 
All right, let's see it. All right, 41. There's a counter. That's a sick animation, man. I love that. The kick to the face. There's the crit counter, 1.7. Yo. <laughs> Yo, that's, that's, okay. 1.7 again. There's the super. Let's see how well he tanks this. All right, let's see how well he tanks this. 126k. That's actually not too bad. That's actually not too shabby. And, uh... <laughs> Yo! <laughs> Did I see that right? Yo, I, I, I kind of lost focus for a second. But I'm pretty sure I saw almost 6 million attacks that. Almost 6 mil. So... There you go. There you go. 6 million. We did we got a crit for for almost four mil killed him and oh one thing one interesting thing to note note is actually um with the vegeto's ability to see super attacks right it also works when he's off rotation so as you can see the transform vegeto the fuse vegeto is actually not on rotation but it still says super attack launch so we know a super attack is coming on uh this first slot here with the super saiyan blue goku um this this is actually kind of unfortunate because like I don't want to put any of these guys in front of the super attack, but I mean, at least we can get some counters with the STR Vegito. Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I should probably put this guy here, but I, I think we'll be okay. I think we'll be okay. You know what? Let's let's first pop the active skill, and then what we're gonna do is uh, test the Vegito's tanking ability against a very strong type advantaged enemy. Okay. Let's see how well they can tank this super. Let's see if we die. We might die, actually. But I'm, I'm gonna put my faith in them. I'm gonna put my faith in them. Okay, so there's the Vegito. We healed back up. So yeah, with the healing, we, we probably will survive. And uh, we're getting additional one key sphere for, or one key for every key sphere. So that's gonna be a full 24 key super. And we'll let him super. We'll give some to Kid Buu. And there we go. All right, if Kid Buu gets us killed, then that's just how it goes. Okay, so we took 60 damage on the normal. Yeah, 48 on the normal. So normal attacks are not hurting us at all. Getting crit counters for days. Man. <laughs> this is an awesome unit. I I don't know. I don't know. Wow, that's actually really good. That was actually really good. I don't know if I'm ready to call him the best unit in the game. But I, I'm inclined to say that he's definitely up there. He's definitely like in the top five for sure. I, I, it's just hard for me like when I do like, these like first initial showcases to call someone the best unit in the game because like I need more experience with it I need to test some more things out, but he's making a really good case for himself, man He's making a really good case for himself. Oh, man Yo <laughs> Yo <laughs> Okay, yo, I, I gotta get these guys like fully maxed out of my account. So um, if you guys didn't know, I, I, I did do summons on my main account, and uh, I pulled one copy, but this is really making me want to go back for dupes, it's making me really want to get them to level like 10 for all link skills, which obviously takes a while, but I mean it's worth the grind, right, because just look at how insane this damage is, we're still taking double digits on normals, dude, and yet, oh man, come on. Of course he dodges the ultra super, but he takes the normal. I, I mean, it's fine. Yeah, the 12 key still did a lot of damage. And, uh, yo, int super Vegito putting in work too. Damn. Damn. All right. Yo, uh, oh, see, this gives me an idea, actually. This gives me an idea. With this Vegito release, you can actually run a full Vegito team, right? Like, all Vegitos. Candy Vegito, base Vegito. Uh, Goku and Vegeta, obviously, AGL, um, or Super Vegito, and, uh, I mean, can, you can run the, obviously, the Intel R Vegito and the SDR LR Vegito together, because it's, one's just Goku and Vegeta, what the other one is Goku and Vegeta Angel. Oh, we died! Anyways, that's where I wanted to end the showcase anyways. That, that, uh, that, that's where I wanted to end it, so it, it was actually meant to be. It was actually fully planned, so... <laughs> <laughs> there you go guys that's your showcase that's your showcase there's not much else to see like it was going to be around the same damage about the same you know um the same counters all that stuff because he doesn't really stack attack or defense right it's just uh raising attack and defense on the supers which is great for one turn 
So it's not like the damage would have been higher. It's not like we would have seen anything else that we haven't seen already. And here it is. That is the video. Um, as I said, probably a full Vegito team showcase coming soon. Get excited for that. Stay tuned. But uh, for now, that's that. That's the LR Super Vegito, man. This unit's wild. It's a. Uh, it's uh, definitely one of the best units in the game. Is it the best unit? You guys, let me know. All right, let me know your 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 uh, opinions after seeing this video. Maybe seeing some other people's videos. I'm sure uh, you guys have probably at least you know seen the previews out there because there's just a lot of people making videos about these guys. I'm a little bit late to the party. I'll admit, I'm a little bit late, but better late than never, as I always say. So uh, there is my showcase. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what you guys think about him as far as like the placement. Uh, among like the best units in the game definitely top five maybe top three maybe number one i have to think about it but that's it guys thank you so much for watching hope you guys enjoyed it as always if you liked the video then make sure to like the damn video and if it's your first time watching me first time to the channel and you like what you see then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the tiger squad now and while you're at it hit that notification bell too so that youtube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content and that's it i'm out of here until next time hope you guys have a fantastic fantastic day i'm tiger with tiger uppercut media signing out